What is up YouTube? It is Coach Corey and today we got a video on how to use Daryl and to do that I have with me a special guest. I have with me Cole who was the first person to get 500 and 600 trophies on Daryl. What's up Cole? How's it going Corey? I'm uh, happy to be back on the channel and yeah man, feeling good. Yeah, thanks for coming on man. I appreciate it. You're also a leader of Paradox. Now, what do you think of Daryl? Do you like him that much, or is he just okay? What's your overall thoughts? Um, I definitely love, like him. I uh, I don't know. I was a little bit, you know, disappointed that Supercell didn't release like another brawler, or, um, you know, kind of give him, you know, a little bit more uniqueness. I mean, Daryl's pretty much just the mm -hmm. um, robot version of Bull, right? Right. Um, you know, like yeah, small I like differences. how they incorporated the, yeah, I like I like how they incorporated the Rico. Um, you know, bounce back ability, you know, so mm -hmm. um, that's pretty cool. His super is a lot of fun. He's, he's really fun to use. So yeah, overall, overall, I like him. And, and I just said right from right from when I freaking kind of just main him until he was Mac. Right. So yeah, um, yeah, I really kind of gun for that maximum yeah. in like probably six hours. <laughs> so you got him to 500 in six hours? Yeah, like that's with, insane. With, with, in, yeah, in terms of actual playing yeah i mean i think right on the road to 500 i maybe lost 10 15 games in total okay well that's that's pretty crazy all right but let's get into some tips so in general you know what event or what events do you think daryl is really best in um i think uh you definitely you definitely got to use him kind of like bull um i'd say okay. you know he's he's honestly viable in you know in any mode um, you know, I could see him. I pushed him a maybe? lot in in, sh in showdown uh, originally. Okay, I mean that's what you do with any with any two hundred uh, right early on brawler, right? You can get those those really easy cups. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then and then after that, after just spamming showdown games, I kind of just went uh, bounty was up. There was I think it's outlaw camp. Yeah. Um, so I, I was playing that grass. late at night with uh, yeah. yeah with some homies and. Um, yeah, yeah, just basically, you just kind of had to flank with him and and really kind of use his his uh, his high health and and close range. Um, yeah, but yeah, I think like honestly, he's he he definitely favors like heist. I'd say heist is heist? probably his best. That's his mode. best one. Uh, yeah, although okay. he's really there's you know different maps and different you know like he's not good for some heist maps and he's mm -hmm. better for others. Same with SMG like. Hard Rock Mine, he's a monster. You can just play him as a uh, yeah. as an aggro character on uh, on the left side, right? You just go up yep. the left like you would with a Shelly or a, uh, or mm -hmm. a Spike, and he works really well there. Um, yeah, right. The other one I found he was pretty good on was was Mushroom Cave for SNG. Okay, you play aggro him there. All right, so yeah. so speaking of, so what sort of how about in Smash and Grab? What sort of team comps would you want to use with Daryl? Okay, um, yeah. So ideally, with uh, depend on the map. Um, but what I would play is, you know, for say Hard Rock Mine, for example, is you're gonna run, mm -hmm. you know, your carrier, Daryl is your aggro, and then you're gonna want a Rico or a um, or a Colt to to man that right side, yeah, and uh, really be putting out most of the damage. You wanna you wanna get him in the bush, and yeah, and uh, that's when you're you're gonna have your best utilization of, of him is kind of get behind that wall in hard rock um mm -hmm. what about what about heist best team comp for heist um ooh, heist you just gotta you gotta run the meta right you gotta go uh colt and barley or colt and crow i would say depending on the on the map oh, okay. and then you just kind of replace you know mm -hmm. you replace uh daryl with either the barley or the uh or the crow depending on the map um i know for what's it called safe zone that one was yeah. pretty easy to push uh, i did a lot of pushing on on that heist map um because that was the first one up and, and yeah you can you can almost just <laughs> super raid in there with spawn and get right next to the right next right. to the safe with one daryl alt yeah and, you can uh, definitely get and then you just really far in oh yeah and you can do mm -hmm. yeah and then the one thing with daryl is you gotta i mean like since the update they've changed it but his his shots, you really had to strafe right to left, um, okay, just to make sure that you're hitting hitting your shots. So these are my next questions. So good, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to address. Uh, no, no, you're good. Jump, <laughs> jump in the gun here, man. Um, 
yeah, no, I'd say other than that for, for heist is, you know, like in, in some maps, you'd almost want to go Daryl Colt Rico. Um, I would say like for, mm. uh, for bandit stash, that would be a good comp just cause okay. you know, the dare, uh, you know, the Daryl can, can kind of get in once the Colts, mm -hmm. uh, has kind of eliminated, has opened up one of the sides, but, um, yeah, yeah you really got to be kind of choosy with your comp on the map and, uh, mm -hmm. you just got to know, you know, who's kind of running, running that mode at the time. And, and you got to have two guys that, that know how to play to play off of Daryl, right? Like, you know, mm -hmm. if you, if you just throw Daryl in and that's what a lot of, um, you know, guys starting out playing Daryl and trying to max him, uh, right, as, you know, he's the newest brawler. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think they just, you know, they, they try and throw him into, to random comps and, and it just totally messes with with the you know the way things are are working and with the actual gameplay. Yeah. Um, so I'd say you really got to be decisive and and you got to make sure that your your guys that you're playing with know know what's up and, mm -hmm. and you know where to go and whatnot. So. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, how about this? So you were saying earlier uh, before the balance changes that just happened a couple of days ago that you wanted to sort of strafe left to right or maybe it was right to left. Uh, yeah, right to left, right. So we right to left. So is that shoots his, uh, is that still true? Shoot. Um, yeah, it's still it's still true. I mean, if you notice with Daryl, he's always going to shoot uh, when you're facing up in the map. He's going to shoot yeah. his right shotgun first, just okay. before his shot. Uh, yeah, or his, or his left. And uh, yeah, so if you if you're strafing right and you know you have that your aimer right on the middle of him, mm -hmm. while you strafe right, you're going to get both of those in the center of a. Uh, you're going to do max of damage your you can with him. Right. Of your target, yeah. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit different when you're aiming down just because he then the shoots opposite. with his right first. It's the oh. opposite. Yeah, so yeah, it's, a little yeah. Bit, right. it's a little bit interesting mm -hmm. like that. But, that is kind of um, weird. You know, you can tell when, when the Daryl flips that he shoots. Uh, he, he switches it, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you got to kind of be cognizant of that with, with shooting. But now that mm -hmm. they... Um, you know, now that they've kind of fixed it, they made it so his shots fire closer together. Yeah. It's not as spread out. So, you know, you really don't have to worry about that because it's, it's, it might even just be like half a tile now, whereas it was, you know, almost two tiles before. Yeah. I don't know what all the, you know, specifics of it are, but yeah, that's just a rough, uh, kind of so, say, yeah. So do you, are you ever trying to hit with like just one of his shotguns or are you always just sort of trying to hit with both for the, um, no, definitely not. Like around walls, um, you know, and yeah, okay. it's really important to, you know, to kind of to keep your health right. Like you want to, mm -hmm. you know, if you're peeping around a corner on the right, you can pump one of your um, one of your shotguns and, and then get back right on the corner. So yeah. you can definitely use it to finish off around a corner if you're at low sort health. Sort of like and, Anita. Um, your opponent's at low health as well. Yeah, yeah kind of like that. You play him, you know, you play him very similar. It's kind of like a little a bait and a bait and switch kind of game, right? You're right. trying to yeah. you're trying to bait bait the guy to come come get you with your health and then give him the give him the guns, right? So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, True it's enough. <laughs> so totally uh played like that for sure. So I'm just gonna get a little more specific. So are you ever when you aim at your target, are you aiming down the middle of your you know your sights for like, you know, when you hold up the the range for Daryl, are you aiming down the middle or is it like slightly, you know, to the right and then you strafe left or, you know, how do you do it? So what I do is I, you know, you take you got your whole aimer. And what I do is I, I know that the, you know, my, the, my shot's going to cut that and through the middle of, of that aimer initially. And then the second shot's going to come on the left side and through the middle, right? So what yeah. I do is I, I aim kind of the right side up to my target and then I strafe this I strafe right where I strafe the direction that he's going in with the right side of my target. And then when right. I switch to my left, yeah, exactly. Okay. So that then then he he gets in the in the middle of the left one or middle of the right shotgun. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I think what you're saying. So yeah, you shoot you you're shoot yeah. the right one shoots first. So you're aiming more on that one, and then you're strafing to the right to make the left one get more exactly. on the target. Yeah. So it goes like this, you aim, and then you, you start. Aim you start like with that. aiming on the right side, and then right. you strafe right and hit him. Yeah, and then it'll, right. the left side will will come in. Okay, good tips. All right, so now his super is pretty crazy though. So as far as his super, 
you know, it goes really far. So what sort of situations do you really use that in? You know, are you like really far away? Are you just going for, you know, certain damage from the bounces, trying to get people, you know, how do you use his super? Damn, Daryl's Daryl's super is is got to be one of the most versatile in the game, I'd say. Um, yeah. Just like the the amount that you can do with it is is crazy. I mean, um, you know, right from spawn, you can you can spawn in mm-hmm. and alt right across the map and two pump, uh, you know, the guy that the gem carrier, and yeah. you know, get all of their no one else can do that. Just pick them up and no one else can do that. Yeah, you yeah. pick them up and then you can alt right back out. I mean, it's so funny and to to have those kind of games where you know you you die, you spawn, you alt all the way to the other side, yeah, and get all the gems, and then you alt right back to your side, and yeah, they think they won, feeling. but nope. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He can, he's definitely a he's definitely a game changer um, when used when used right. Uh, same thing in in highest right, right from spawn, and seconds left. Yeah, and the the, the safe is it you know five percent and you just all right, right across the map next to the safe and two pump them and you know daryl's got the mm-hmm. health and uh they can't do too much <laughs> yeah but so when you um, look for a like a lot of people oh sorry go ahead oh no, no no go ahead i was gonna say so when you look for like situations to use his super are you always trying to like when your super stops are you always trying to be right next to someone um or is that not the case um well it's it's totally situation Right? Okay. Like the only time you know when with Daryl, you're gonna want to super, um, you know, at at high health, right? You don't want to go sure. barreling into a situation um, mm-hmm. with low health. I mean, even with now, I mean, it used to be seventy percent reduction, but yeah. now it's eighty percent reduction. I mean, Daryl got a little bit of a buff because I think Supercell noticed. You know, he's he's a hard brawler to use and yeah, and master. But yeah, um, yeah, like I would say that. You know that in any given situation, you definitely want to have him being at high health before you go into an alt. Mm-hmm. Um, just because if you if you get caught somewhere with low health, it's really easy for a crow or or a uh, you know a barley or any anybody really to to give you uh, you know just one one kind of shot and and finish you off wherever you are, right? Yeah. Um, so I would say, yeah, you definitely you know if you have gems and S and G, you got to be really careful with with the when you way you alt. A lot of people, sure. you know, will throw games because they don't know where they'll end up, right? And they got if they got all the gems, then yeah. you know all those gems are then lost if they end up uh, if you end up in a situation where um, you know you're kind of outmatched. And yeah, you you know you you got to get back to your spawn, um, but you know the only time I would say I use him to, uh, you know, I super at low health is when I'm just finishing guys off. You know, like yeah, if I see like one shotting, you know, a tar- roll. Yeah, like yeah, I'm one of my one of my favorite things to do is you know you get a Tara that that just brings all three of them together, and they're all super oh, low health, man. and then you just all all rate right through all three of them. That sounds dirty. Off, come back. Oh yeah, and then you just bounce right back, pick up all the gems that, that were dropped, and yeah. you got a W, right? I mean, it, yeah, it's a, it's so much fun to play uh, to play with Daryl when you just get those scenarios. Same thing with a mic alt, right? You know, like Taro mm-hmm. will super it's in. It's very and, satisfying. And you throw the mic alt in there, and oh yeah, very satisfying. Yeah, um, probably one of the most satisfying supers when you just barrel into you know mm-hmm. you, you might not even try it initially. You might be aiming for one guy, and then all of a sudden you ricochet and hit the other two guys, and they're dead. And you're like, wow. I, I didn't plan that, but that worked. <laughs> but hey, I'm so, not complaining. I mean, you know, exactly, right? I'm not complaining. Yeah. So he's totally, he's totally one of those brawlers that, um, you know, you may not, you know, go into the alt with a, a huge plan, but yeah, you know, you might end. It might end up turning really good, but it can also mm-hmm. turn really bad, right? So right, if you don't know where you're going, yeah, exactly, exactly. Some people they'll end up, you know, on the other side of the map when they meant to end up in their spawn and then they throw the game or yeah or you know then they're right next to the guy and yeah total game changer alt for sure yeah so just so you guys know just for reference his super goes uh about 24 tiles so if you're wondering exactly how far that is if you're able to go exactly straight across the whole map you're gonna end up off the map where you can't see by about you know three or four tiles something like that so it goes really really far but those were great tips on a super. Let's move on. Now let's talk about some of the different matchups. Daryl versus different brawlers. So as Daryl, what sort of brawlers 
does he do really well against? You know, what are the brawlers that you're looking for those sort of matchups to take advantage of? Well, um, on throwers, I mean, you know, when a Daryl comes up against a Mike, it's, you mm-hmm. know, the Daryl heavily outguns the Mike. I mean, if you're, you know, you got got a little bit of the jukes, you can, you know, give him a little side to side and deke right. his, his minds pretty, uh, pretty effectively. And then you can get up close and, and finish him. Um, you know, another one is 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 Crow. I mean, he's just if you can, yeah. You know, he's Crow is quick, but if you can, you know, catch up to him or, or catch him in you know close quarters, he doesn't have the damage to finish you off. Right, because um, Daryl's got high health. Yeah, exactly, yeah. the high health. Uh, yeah, and then I'd say honestly, you know, Piper, Piper's, you know, if you can okay. dodge a couple Piper. She's got the slow reloads. Yeah. Um, as soon as you catch catch a Piper up close, you can probably. Eat four or five shots from a piper not mm-hmm. in not in a bush with star power and right and uh she won't be able to, she won't be able to put a dent in in you okay as daryl um okay. yeah and then yeah i would say kind of any of the the long range brawlers as soon as you get close to them um yeah it's pretty so game over but they they can from long range they can pick you off pretty quickly right you got to sneak um, up to them yeah, you definitely or super up. To them. You definitely got to use not sneaky, but you definitely uh, got to use the bushes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All exactly. right, so that's uh. Let's go. To, let's go to the other side of the coin. So, what about Daryl or not Daryl's brawlers? Brawlers that you want to avoid as Daryl. So, what ones does you know Daryl really not do well against? Oof. Well, I mean, I think almost every brawler fares pretty poorly against a Colt, whether it's, you know, close range, long range. That's true. Um, you know, Colt is Colt is just a dirty, dirty brawler. I mean, they gave him the the quick boots in this uh recent update and wow, he can he can really put up some speed and yeah. um, you know, get away, get you know, even at close range too, is just DPS just outmatches anyone. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, Yeah. So you know, from long range, Colt just will shred a Daryl. Okay. Any other brawlers? Um, like a Shelly, yeah. maybe, or yeah, I would say you know a, a, not really. a Barley that's playing a Barley that's playing good control. Um, mm-hmm. You know, like it's a little bit different Barley from Mike, just because the Barley has that spread. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. Barley's always didn't get that. I would in. say. Yeah, I would say if, if you're, you know, if you're a good, if you're playing up against a good Barley and, and they're kind of, you know, they're good with controlling you and keeping you back and, and kind of streaming you into mm-hmm. other teammates, a Barley is, you know, you don't want to face that Barley on your side. Um, but for the most part with Daryl, if you're, if you're good at, you know, juking, juking and getting past that and getting close to them, um, you know, you can, you can take the advantage in, in most situations when played properly. Okay. All right. Well, those were all the questions I had for you, Cole. Thank you so much for coming on, man. Awesome. Man, no worries. Yeah, thanks for uh, having me on and uh, happy to help uh, everyone out. Yeah, no problem. And I meant to mention this earlier, but guys, Cole's also a top 10 player on the leaderboards right now. So he gave us some great tips. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you later.